Hey YouTube and welcome to our 14th Unity tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be doing a few bits and bobs and also find I found out some cool stuff which is kind of a surprise for later. So to start, um, last tutorial we made Shang Tsung here look at our main character like so, like so, hello, good afternoon, blah blah blah. Um, yeah, so now what we're going to do is put this on the rest of these, move up all the models and stuff like that, and then we are going to, we're going to do the surprise after, and then what we're planning to do is if we have enough time I'm going to make it so you have to be coming close distance towards them, then they'll, they'll look at you, so like if you're, you don't have to be everywhere to be able to look. So, um, in the last tutorial I showed you how to do Shang Tsung, you just moved up the box collider and everything. So I'm just going to do a quick fast forward sequence, doing the rest of the three, and then we'll come back and finish the arms. So YouTube, I'm back, and it turns out we have another problem. The Deathstroke and Shang Tsung are laid out the exact same, but they still, well, Shang Tsung works perfect as you've seen, but for some reason Deathstroke doesn't. It just seems to do it again. So I'm guessing that's gonna have to wait for now. Make it full screen. Um, I hope you like the fast forward sequence. The music was. I forgot the name, but I'll post it in the description. It's free to use, so yeah. Look, doing it again. And I don't know why. Unless it's the box collider, so what we'll do is get the stroke. Go away, box collider. If this doesn't work, then we'll have to leave this and we'll move on to the next thing, but if it does, all good. Nope, look at it. Freaking out. Uh -huh. I don't know why that's doing that. It's something to do with the models, so. Um, we'll have to leave that for now, but um, basically I just copied what you did with Shang Tsung last tutorial and put it in him. Now for the surprise. I found out, well, as you all know, firstly our character works around with his arms out, which isn't that good. So disable that. If you didn't know, this toolbar up here where it says scene, game, textured, RGB, if you, this one here, which looks like a sun, disables the light on or off, so I want it off so I can see. And this one disables the background, which is like your GUIs or your hoods, um, skyboxes and stuff. So just keep that off, yeah? So as you can see, I can't watch how his arms out. Isn't good. To edit it, I thought usually, because usually with most models, have to go into 3D modeling programs such as 3ds Max, Maya, Cheat, 3D and stuff like that. So, um, I was going to leave that and do it in Blender for another tutorial. But, then I went searching around. And if we go into our character, um, Shao Kahn, and then into Reference, Hips, Spine, Spine 1, Spine 2, and then left shoulder, which is, if I put this here, here, as you can see, that's terrible, there we go, where is it, here, left shoulder, as you can see, it highlights the left shoulder, and if we click the left arm, and click the rotate tool, look at that, it can move his arms, and it's the same for all the models, you can control the bones, so, that one's terrible, we'll do that one. Rotate that a bit. In fact, rotate. What you want to do best is just rotate everything a tiny, tiny bit, just to make it look more realistic. No, that's terrible. That'll do. Then we'll rotate this arm. And as you can see, he now walks around with normal arms. All good. So do the same again. So we've got the left shoulder here. Find the right shoulder. Right arm, right arm roll. 
And then if we click this, rotate it down a bit. Uh, yeah, take the right arm a bit. It's mostly the right arm. So right arm roll. Right, so, as you can see, we now have, it will work the exact same, it will fire from where it usually does, which is we, we might need to move, so stick a thing back in there, like so. So if we click our character, and there, as you see the bullet's bought from here, so we're firing from his shoulder, which isn't that good. So what we'll do is we'll move it, the camera will still work the same, as you can see it'll still work perfect. So click the bullet spawn point, move to the side view, move it down near his hand, make sure it's not like too close though because then if it hits the bot the um, collider it'll mess up. So we stick it like there. Yeah. What's that like? Perfect. Now he should fire from his hands. So let's try it. There we go, we now have a walking character with his shoulders down. Turn Hadouken on. Hmm. I preferred it when it's higher, but it'll do. Is he freaking out? Yes. Go away. Hey. Oh, he's not got a box collide on him. Well, yeah. So, can destroy you. Yeah. As you can see, we now have arms. So. But now we repeat the process with um, Shang Tsung and we'll just leave Death Strip because he sucks and doesn't want to work perfect. So, nope, that way. It will work the same for the box collider and it'll work better because you won't be able to walk through his arms. So, um, here we go. What we'll do also soon is I'm planning to add a life system to like the enemies. So like you hit them once, it doesn't just go gone. It'll, you'll have to hit them several times and then like we can increase their armor rating depending on it so obviously Shang Tsung is going to be pretty hard because he's what main boss well one of them he's the Mortal Kombat Terminal so yeah um, so reference hips spine spine 1 spine 2 I don't know why it's labeled all this I don't think the model has done this because these models are ripped so I think this is how they lay them out but Anyway, these here, what we're going, what we're changing, are actually the bones inside. I don't know if you can see. Let's see if we can see. No, you can't. Anyway, when you're 3D modeling, um, basically you'll use bones to adjust it easier. And like, so the f all the f toes will have bones, all the bones up the legs, all the bones up the legs. Well, yeah, I've said that. The body, the arms, and what we're doing is when we move it, is we're just simply moving the bones. So, left shoulder, left arm left arm, right, so left shoulder, which is this one, move it down, ooh, don't want that, so move it down a bit, move the arm down a bit, that's actually okay as it is, might move his shoulder up a bit, move his arm down a bit, there we go, and um, right shoulder, uh, move it down a bit to there, right arm all the way down. Well, his left arm's a bit longer than the other one, so what we'll do is move it back up. Okay, apparently we won't. Yeah, we will. Move it down again. It does. You could just make it do anything. You could even make him look like he's walk firing at you or something, like pointing at you like all the time or something. But yeah, so um, soon I'm gonna do a get rid of all this because I just really don't like that. That's crap. Like yeah, so well I like had a bridge, add some water, make it so when you drink water it all bubbles up. As you can see, he looks at us and he's like huzzah. And what we can do is make it so he like doesn't straight away look at you like he'll randomly start animating and turning. Um, yeah, so. He freaks out. He's he's a lemon. Nobody likes him. Yeah, yeah. So um, next tutorial will add more health to the enemies. It shouldn't take that long. It's really easy to do. Just a new integer, and then um, we just make it so when it hits it plus the integer, and then if it equals a certain number, then he dies. Simple as that. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and enjoy.